Hey everyone, so in this tutorial you will learn how to create this beautiful shape here and this will enable you to add amazing details onto your own 3D models. And if you want to learn more about plasticity and surface modeling, I just launched my new plasticity 3D modeling course in which you will learn with fully narrated step-by-step -step instructions how to model a motorcycle completely from scratch. And not just that, this course will teach you the mental and technical skills to tackle any project that you want, as well as offering you numerous bonus lessons on effective learning strategies and providing you a full introduction into the fundamentals of surface modeling with hands-on exercises. So if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information in the description box below this video. And for now, let's jump in into our tutorial. All right, let's start with the super fun baby monitor shape here. Link in the description from Fabrizio Colasanto, the reference images. So just take a screenshot from this baby here and enjoy modeling, guys. <laughs> but in this tutorial, we will need those ones here. So just import a pant this image here, press M, bring it to the front and make it opaque and, and disable selection and also go to the left view and do the same. Okay, so we have the setup here and now go to the front, uh, to the top. And first of all, we just want like the outer shape to create as always first with some curves in surface modeling. So what we wanna do is because we need here tangents here, so we will mirror it over. And if you don't know what this tangency and why this is important, I have a PDF and you find the link in the description. Very useful and helpful if you want to learn and master surface modeling. But we want to start first of all with the control point curve, shift F for me as a shortcut and create the point and drag it out on the X axis because it has again to be con continuous to the other side. So let's um, yeah just take one more point and also I want so I will just create here a point and then this one again, it has to be here in the intersection on the x-axis. So don't snap it here or here. So something like that. And now we can just take those points if it's not, if you can't create a construction plane here. So just drag them down. So they are meeting here. And now what you want to do is just adjust those points here a little bit. And this one bring way inside and also this one here in the middle. But yeah, for the tutorial, this is absolutely fine. So you see, we we have a nice curved shape here. And now we just go here to the left view and we will do the same here. Because again, we will just create here this outer shape first with the curves. Again, Shift F, Control Point Curve, and I will snap it here. And now again, I will just drag it out in 90 degrees so it will be um, continuous here at this point, even though we don't really need it but it will just look a little bit better. So again, just create uh, here a few points because here you see it just nicely smooths. And so you see here at the end, it just goes smoothly into this point. So again, we just go to this point and press shift. So you see we create here this tangent line and just snap once here and then here. So very important that we have here tendency. Good, so let's again adjust those points here. And here, so maybe we, we really want this kind of shape. Um, why? Why don't we want this rounding? Because uh, first of all, so here it's clear, right? So here we are following the shape and the same here at the booty. But here we don't need the rounding because here we see that this booty here is smoothly going from here to the inside. So that means that we will here anyway create a cut. So uh, so we can ignore basically this whole section because also here you see we have this cut here and it's sm transitions here into our yeah, booty here. I don't know, I just <laughs> like this here. Yeah, so, um, so, but before we created this cut here, so here you see it also on the top, you see, so we will anyway cut here a piece away. And, but first of all, we have to create here our main shape. And yeah, we have to loft it. So again, very simple. And as very, very often, all of my other tutorials, we need to create some sheets because we need continuity. Again, below this video, you find a PDF 
where everything is explained. And also in my paid courses, we go much, much deeper into that topic, but just create a select this curve E extrude and extrude the sheet the same here E extrude it and hide this curves because now we have edges and this will work because now if we select those edges, we can L loft and you see it's G1. So for now it's perfectly fine. And now let's just delete those sheets here. We don't need them anymore. And um, yeah, why we did that, just to show you if we mirror it over, you see we have an absolutely perfect shape here. So, so yeah, for the tutorial, it's fine. And we can go here to the top view and we have again to cr create a cutout of this inner shape here because we will rebuild it again with surfaces. So again, we will just follow what we have shift F control point curve and just go yeah, somewhere here again, drag that out on the X axis and um, yeah, create one point and one more point and again, just adjust it here and shift A because we have to close that here, shift A and snap to this point and just drag it out again, 90 degrees, select both curves, press J and let's just bring them up. So you see, we have the shape here. And now we can press C and cut into our surface, right click. And now you see we have this extra piece. We can select it, delete it, also this curve. So we have now this opening and it's guys, like always with surface modeling, we first create the very, very main bulky shape. And once we have that, we dive deeper in and, and create with surface modeling all of those details and cutouts and details and all that kind of stuff, right? So what we want to do now is we have, we need this surface here, right? So this kind of piece, we need that this goes like inwards with the same rounding and all that kind of stuff. The interesting thing is because we, uh, so from this view, you see, we also have here a rounding, but it, 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 it needs to go kind of the same inside. So what we want to do is first we want to create a new curve again, just follow the shape that, that we have. And along this curve, we will take this edge because this edge has kind of the information of this rounding of this curve and we will just sweep it around the curve. So maybe you know a way um, how we can take this edge here and so shift F control point curve and for example, make a tangent to this edge. Uh, I couldn't find a way. I don't know. Maybe you know something because we can also shift D uh, duplicate it and rebuild. And I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes not like really let me know if someone knows that and would be cool if you could shift F control point curve and just create here a curve and now drag and snap tangent to this curve here, that would be the smoothest way because now we have to do a little bit of a workaround. That's why I'm showing you that. If we can't do that, very simple. We just create again, control point curve, shift F and just go by I for now. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it will end somewhere. I don't know, somewhere here. Okay. Basically, we can go, oh, okay, that's perfect. We can go to the top here and just adjust here this point where it goes here like inwards, right? But let's go again back here and just adjust the curve a little bit and just try to create a nice smooth curve here. Because now, because this curve and uh, touches this edge here, we can take this edge and shift D duplicate because we need the, the, the same information here and we can just sweep it. So select it and sweep bam, around this curve, right? Okay. Let's delete this curve and this curve. And if we join that, you see that we have here an edge and this is exactly what, we, what, uh, what I meant. And this is not the perfect way. So let's go a little bit back and what, but what we basically can do is very simple. We can just select this sheet here and control R or isoparam and press tab and just, I don't know, like create here a cut and select this piece here and delete it. 
Why? Because now again we can just use those edges here and love them again, even with G2. So you see, now we have everything super, super smooth and we don't have any edge anymore. So I like that. And let's select this piece and this piece, press J and go to the top viewer. And now let's create the curve, which will create this inner cut here. Again, Shift F, just go to this point here and drag it out. But you have to watch out that you're not snapping to the edge because the edge is, is not here continuous to the X axis. So snap it here to the X, to the X axis and then start to create those points and go somewhere here. So again, we are just following this shape. And let me just take this point and just adjust again everything a little bit to our reference image. And maybe drag that point here a little bit outwards. Perfect, because now we can take this curve and press C and just cut into our new surface here. Press OK and delete this piece and yeah, delete the curve here. We don't really need it. And you see, if we join that, we have an absolute perfectly smooth thing here. Look, look guys, how beautiful this is. And let's just close everything now, what is very simple. So we can, so we basically have to loft that, but I want here very sharp loft or uh, yeah, corner. So I will just take again those edges here and press Shift B or Bridge Edge again, download my PDF. They are all custom shortcuts. They are super optimized for the left hand to work super fast. So both edges are selected, Shift B, Bridge Edge, and you see it's a little bit too smooth. So press D here, Tension, and just reduce the tension. So you see it's just a little bit sharper. And again, because we will mirror it over, we need a sheet. So drag that out, delete the curve. And now we can start to loft that. And you see here we have two edges, but here just one. So we can try if this will work, but you see we get here a little bit of an issue. So always when you loft, go from two edges to two edges or from one edge to one edge. So just select this face, control R, ISO param, and just break this edge here. Because now we can loft it with G1, shift, add here this very sharp loft, press OK, press 4 to select all sheets, join. And now we can do the same here. So just loft those edges at this edge with G1 and this one here, press OK, delete this edge here. And let's see. And we have here a little bit of a weird issue. So let's delete this piece and try to patch it. So Alt click with edge mode and just patch it. And now you see if we give everywhere G1, then it's absolutely fine. And if we will bring that over here and join, you see we have an absolute beautiful piece here. And yeah, guys, so this bottom you can do definitely on your own. And if you like this kind of surface modeling and you want to learn how to use that more in a real world examples, I just launched my all in one plasticity 3D modeling course. And in this course, you will learn everything about surface modeling. It's perfect for beginners and intermediates. You will learn how to create this whole motorcycle completely from scratch with all the pieces and absolutely perfect fillets, which we will create manually with surface modeling. And you will get a whole bunch of bonus courses included, which will really streamline your own progress in plasticity and bring your whole understanding of plasticity and CAD modeling to a completely new level. So first link in the description, check that out if you are interested. In any case, I hope you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and see you in our next practice. Have a nice day. Bye.